Hey Google, what's the weather for today? Today in Roses, it'll be rainy with a forecasted high of 58 and a low of 50. Currently it's 50 degrees with rain. It's looking like it's gonna be rainy all day. I feel like rain is my kryptonite. It's taking all of my strength not to just curl back in bed and listen to the sound of the rain and go back to sleep. But I feel like if I get ready and I pull myself together, I can have a productive and a really great day. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we are, a new look to stay in the house. <laughs> It's honestly super pouring, super, super pouring today. So let's get some work done. Let's be productive. Let's deep spring clean the house, eat some good food, drink some great coffee, cozy up with a book. Let's see what we're gonna do today. Today, we're gonna have a good day indoors. <laughs> kind of all day. Um, I enjoy kind of staying my day in bed, not getting wet, learning, studying. It's kind of a boring day, but do you guys hear my neighbors? They're playing like a piano or something. Like ding, ding, like this. And then, I don't know, it's putting me to sleep a little bit. Honestly, you guys, I've been craving something sweet all day. And so I think I'm gonna make some banana pancakes. And I know that my pancakes suck, but I could make some French toast. But I don't know, I want a pancake. Okay, we're gonna try, but we need to get some butter. So let's go to the store. Are you guys seeing these trees? They are so beautiful. Everything is in full bloom. Everything is coming back to life. Winter is almost over. How exciting. Oh, I'm gonna cross. I think the grocery store is this way. I wanna take a new route today, see something new. The sunset's coming, so maybe we can go to the beach really quick so you guys can see it. secured. Uh, let's go to the beach really quick. It's looking to be kind of nice just to sit out there for a moment. Time continues to pass when you least expect it. Um, I'm all nostalgic. I've been in Spain for over a year now, and I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna really miss this place. It's gonna be so different from going back home. But I think, if anything, it's inspiration to come back. I'll just have to come back another time. 
I know this is super stupid, but every time I see the SIP security, I think it's super funny because even though it doesn't exactly translate, obviously, to SIP, I'm like, okay, be careful of your drinks. The SIP security is going to take it or don't spill any or they might sip some of your drink or something like this. So I think it's super funny like this. That's why. <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> Hi, we're back. We've got some bananas now. We already had bananas. We need to get some butter. And now I've got the really squishy bananas. I brought this I brought this banana to my Barcelona trip and then I forgot about it. And so now it's all squishy and brown and sad. You guys wanna see? There you go. It's perfect for banana bread and banana pancakes though because I've been craving them for days now. So we'll see if we can make them good. Stay tuned because my camera looks like it's gonna die any second now. So we're gonna switch batteries like. Okay, so it looks like we need to heat my skillet. Maybe I should do a non-stick skillet, but I feel like cast iron is a classic. It should work, it should work. So we heat it up kind of high. My sister gave me some advice. She said I flipped it way too early last time and I should wait for the bubbles. But I'm, I feel like that works for normal pancakes. I don't know, like with the like vegan ones with the banana or the protein or whatever, if there's many bubbles. Because last time I, like the the second pancake that I did burned a little because the bubbles weren't quite there. I don't know. So we're gonna see how this one turns out. I'm gonna try my best. And yeah, that's all I've got. Okay, so for this recipe, it says you need two ripe bananas. These are super ripe. One, two, this one's super squishy. Two, no, that's one, wait, come back. And then you squish it. And then you can add a little bit of sugar to this part. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna squish it with this giant spatula and see how it. Maybe I should use a fork, but this is looking pretty squished. It says add some sugar now. Honestly, I don't want too much, so, because the bananas are already sweet, so maybe. There we go. We're gonna mix that. It's nice to use white sugar as well, but it is what it is. We work with what we have. One egg. Okay, and how much oil? Like two tablespoons. I think that's plenty. All I have is olive oil. I don't really have vegetable oil here, okay? But I don't mind the olive oil and sweet things. Boom, there we go. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that too. I think my biggest problem when I make these pancakes is normally when I crave them, I'm super lazy and I don't really measure things. But also banana pancakes, I can't seem to find like a European recipe. It's always the American ones where it says, okay, one cup of this and three cups of this, but I don't have any of those measurements here. I only have like grams, like I only can weigh things. And so to do all those conversions, the recipe is never quite right. So I never bother anymore. Okay, cinnamon, a lot, like a lot, a lot. I like a lot of cinnamon in this. A little bit of pancakes. Let me mix it some more. Baking powder, two teaspoons. I don't know, guys. That's like two teaspoons, right? Something like that. Example, we don't have teaspoons here. Okay, so maybe like that is enough. We'll mix it. A cup of milk. Maybe that's like a cup. We're really winging stuff here. This may be like a quarter cup. Maybe that's like a cup. Look at okay, and then you're gonna we're gonna mix it. Okay, guys, this is looking pretty promising. Let's see what happens when I put it in the pan. Okay, I'm afraid my pan might be too hot, so we're gonna see what happens when I put the butter. Ooh, it instantly burned. So sorry, we're gonna have to wait till it cools down. All right, let's give it another go. Burning a little slower. I'm gonna start the butter up to the side because it's not as hot on the side. And then I'm gonna drop this pancake batter. It's already looking kind of weird. I know you guys can't see that well. Here, let me lift you. So this is what it's looking like. Kind of a weird shape, but you know, I'm, I'm blaming it on the first pancake syndrome again, and maybe the second one will look prettier, but there you go. Okay, to be honest, I don't see that many bubbles, but I feel like it's ready. I feel like it's gonna burn. There's a bubble here and here and here. So we're gonna try to flip it. We're gonna see how it goes. Or maybe we can just look at it. Yeah, it's like lifting. Ooh, but it's stuck a little. Ooh, that wasn't so bad. Look, my intuition told me. Okay, success, kind of. We gotta try it first. We're gonna set it here on top of this very nice plate in this very small kitchen section area. We're gonna go ahead and try a second time. Oh, it smells like banana bread. So happy. I'm back to squat because I didn't make you guys tall enough. 
Okay, let's see how the first pancake tastes. First off, I think the color is kind of nice. It's a nice golden. It's very soft, but very hot. Mmm, I would say that's bussin'. That's really good. Mmm, the texture is so nice. It's like creamy on the inside, but at the same time, it's firm. It's not like squishy. Mmm. Oh, let me flip this next pancake before it burns. 10 out of 10. Hot. 10 out of 10. Well, anyway, y'all, that's all I had planned for this vlog for this day. Today was just such a rainy day, and literally all I did was kind of lay in bed, study, read, clean a little bit, and then make some banana pancakes. And you know what I mean? Like, after that first, I don't know, you learn from your lessons and then you come out with something spectacular. I don't know, that was really cheesy, but see you guys tomorrow. Bye!